Welcome back live at noon. Rocco Rossi is joining me because he has a new role. He's president and CEO of Prostate Cancer Canada. Congratulations. Thank Welcome. you so much. And I was just smiling because I, I have to ask you this. Have you sworn off politics? Well, my wife wouldn't sign my nomination papers. No, 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 you get other people to sign it. I mean, it may be a little bit unpleasant at home. Uh, but I mean, uh, there's a provincial election coming up in the next year or two. You know, uh, like you, Stephen, I'm a believer that politics is not a career. It's a time of service, and uh, there are other ways to serve. And I'm delighted and honored to be president and CEO of uh, Prostate Cancer Canada. You haven't answered the question, though. Life, <laughs> is, life is long, who knows? But for the next uh, like, several years, I'm, I'm delighted. He could be uh, like John Tory, never say never. <laughs> That's his quote. Okay, so uh, for the next few years, you're uh, sticking with this, uh, with this uh, very important job. Yeah. Prostate cancer, uh, it's gone... You, are start, let's tell, you tell me about the incidence of it. Well, it's really remarkable. Uh, my dad is a survivor of prostate cancer, so it, it hits home. And, and what people don't recognize is that this year, 26,000 Canadian men will be diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Over 4,000 Canadian men will die. The numbers are almost the same as uh, for breast cancer, but because men, just being guys, don't like to talk about uh, these, these things, um, the awareness of the issue is nowhere near where it is for, for breast cancer and I'm delighted at the success of our, our friends at Princess Margaret and, and all of the great work that's been done in breast cancer but this is an issue, you know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, Family Day is Monday and, and it's time to show the guys in your life a little love uh, and get them to get tested and to be aware of their risks uh, and now, to let's be just concerned. talk about the testing because it yeah. needs to be a P was it a PSA test? Well, there there are a couple of tests. There's a there's a blood, there's test, a blood test, and, test and there's a which costs extra. Not in every province, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, that's not uniform across the country, and it's one of the things where we certainly will be talking doesn't that, about. Doesn't that say something about the the level of public awareness that you know um, I, that it costs extra for a man to have this blood test done? Well. Again, I think you want to have um, you want to have a situation where, in public policy makers' heads, in the public's heads, in uh, the citizens' heads, that this is a high priority. Yeah. Right. One in seven. One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their life. This is a major threat. Uh, and men need to take it seriously. Now, need you're, to talk you, about it. You know what? You just became president. You're obviously well briefed. So congratulations on that. Let me just test you a bit further on that. Um, what is the what is the you know the incidence of successful treatment? Well, you know, if you have early detection, and thank God that's what happened in my dad's case, uh, then over ninety percent. Uh, well over 90 percent uh, can be treated quite readily. There, obviously, if you come late to the game, if the cancer is particularly aggressive, uh, if there are other genetic uh, complications, uh, there are problems. But the key is early detection. So, Rocco, like uh, like all cancers, it's it's there are different kinds. It's not just one. Boom, that's prostate right. cancer. Right. There are so many different varieties. Of it. Well, there's variance in terms of how aggressive. The tumors are, yes. and and it happens that in some men, uh, they just grow and get out of control faster uh, than for others. In some cases, um, you'll again in uh, with uh, with your doctor, you'll recognize that it's actually a very slow growth uh, situation, and it can be monitored as opposed to go immediately to surgery or chemo or anything else. Okay. Um, and 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 that is really something that that men should be having a conversation with their doctors about. Okay, you just uh, you just took the words out of my mouth. So if yeah. you're a, a man watching this show right now and you haven't been tested, speak to your doctor, get tested. Is there an right. age when you should be more sensitive to this? Absolutely. Once you once you hit 40, then this should oh, be something that good. you have. Uh, got, you've got, got time. We've got, on lots your of, we've got lots of years. But, but also in particular, you know, as it happens, men of Afro-Caribbean um, heritage are at far greater risk than Caucasians and then um, an Asian men. And so they particularly uh, should be having this conversation. Okay, and uh, if you're a woman and you have a man in your life, tell him to do it. Rocco Rossi. Absolutely. ProstateCancer.ca. Congratulations. Thanks very much. We're going to go over to Steffi Smythe. And at the assignment desk, and Steph, what's up for this afternoon?